Hey everyone, this is Andy from Giz China, and today we're looking at the Yumi Voix in ear earphones. Now, Yumi are a brand that we usually associate with Android smartphones, such as the Yumi Zero, but now they're looking at the aftermarket accessory uh, type side of things, and this is their first attempt at that. It's an in ear earphone that costs $19.99. They ship in this matte black metal tin with the Yumi Voix logo there and specs on the rear. On the inside, the final production version of the Yumi Zero will come with a foam insert which will help the look of the box and also help you to look after the wire on the Voix themselves. Inside here, we have the actual Yumi Voix themselves and a small black bag with additional silicon rubber tips. So we've got small, medium, and large of these, uh, these silicon tips. There's six to choose from all together. So you can really get the fit nice and comfortable in your ear so you can enjoy the music and not let any sound leak out. Okay, the specifications of the Yumi Voix are pretty good for a $19.99 headphone. We've got a helical aluminum sound chamber. We've got a true sound audio curve, 13 millimeter drivers. We've got this remote control with microphone and multifunction button. And we have MPEI diaphragm, huge length of cable, and 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. So three sections to the earphone, microphone, earphone, and 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. The actual earphone side of things is uh, quite interesting in design. It's all, almost space age in look. Looks a little bit like a UFO if we hold it like that possibly the end of a jet engine or something. So, you know, very interesting design, especially when we compare it to the uh, chunky design of the Xiaomi piston and those standard earphones that you get with an Android phone. We've got a very, very different look, almost like a bit of jewelry hanging in your ear. And they are quite a big earphone, so you if you do have smaller ears, you might find a little bit tricky to get them comfortable. But once in, they're nice and secure, and the sound is pretty good, if a little bit bass heavy. We follow the flat cable down to the remote control, and this remote control has a uh, multifunction button. You can see it has an on-off there on the button. We've also got a microphone. This on-off button will also let you uh, switch fast-forward to different tracks, stop your music, and other bits and bobs as well. We follow the cable further along, and we come to the 3.5 millimeter headphone jack, a gold-plated cable uh, end, sorry. So you should get really, really good sound performance with your Android or iOS smartphone. Build quality of the Yumi Voix is very, very good. There is nothing, you know, even a really close look, I can't really see any imperfections on them. The cable itself feels really, really tough and, you know, it's very, very flexible too. I wouldn't be worried about breaking the cable in here. There's a nice rubber section there at the end of the plug, so if it does get tugged, it's not pulling on the cable itself, it's being protected by this rubber section here. The same with the remote control here, we've got a bit of a rubber section either end too. So, so some nice design touches there. As I said, for sound quality they are pretty good, a little bit on the bassy side, a bit, a bit, bit bass heavy, but if that's what you're into, if you enjoy really bassy music, you will enjoy the Voix. $19.99, not a bad price for a headphone, and uh, one with an interesting design, you know, it might be one to take a look at. And especially if you already have the Yumi Zero smartphone, it could be an interesting addition to your Yumi collection. All right, so that's it. That's our initial hands-on with the Yumi Voix earphones. I will be doing a full review with these and possibly even giving these away at a later date. So keep your eye out for that. Thanks for your time and see you all soon. Goodbye.